Hi, my name is Martin Johansson, and I am a former master's student at Uppsala University. In my master's thesis, I investigated adverbial conjuncts in senior high school students' written English. I used AntConc to investigate two learner corpora, ULIC and Chesha, and I compared them with a native speaker control corpus, Loch Ness. The Eulich sample that I used is a collection of short essays about the existence of ghosts, and Chesha is a self-compiled corpus that consists of short essays about the use of technology in today's society. I investigated the corpora based on the following research question. How do the Eulich and the Chesha writers use conjuncts in relation to the Loch Ness writers? with respect to semantic categories, placement, and syntactic realizations. The results showed many interesting things, but here I would like to focus on a particular pattern. It seems that the least advanced students use resultive conjuncts more than contrastive conjuncts. That is to say, they use conjuncts such as so and therefore more than conjuncts such as however or on the other hand. The more advanced students, on the other hand, they flipped the pattern. They use contrastive conjuncts more than resultive. And this difference in distributions is to some degree reflected in previous research, though not entirely. How might we interpret this pattern? One possible interpretation might be that less advanced students tend to jump to conclusions, whereas more advanced students tend to contrast ideas before drawing conclusions. And what might this mean for language teachers? One possible implication might be that language teachers ought to address variability in conjunct usage in the language classroom, so as to help students learn to differentiate between a hasty, unsupported conclusion and a conclusion that is based on contrasted discussion. If successful, then perhaps students might be able to improve their overall argumentative abilities. Thank you very much for listening.